Hello, good morning, everybody. So thanks a lot for joining this webinar on how to stop struggling to add text and logos to your cat part. So my name is Sandrine. I'm Type 3 CAA International Sales Manager. The presentation will last 30 minutes. So we'll start with a short PowerPoint presentation. Then I will do the demo for you, showing you different examples from different industries. And finally, we will end up with a questions and answer session at the end of the presentation. So before starting, just a few words about our company. So Grabotech is the leader in permanent marking solutions. So the headquarters are based in France, where I am now, but we are present in more than 80 countries directly through our 18 subsidiaries or indirectly through our partner channel. But Gravotech is not only a machine manufacturer, it's also a software uh, editor specialized in 3D CAD CAM software solutions. And Type 3 CAA is one of them. And Type 3 CAA, so it's the add-on for text integration in Katia, it's developed in partnership with Dassault System and since 2003. Uh, so you will be muted during the demo, uh, but if you have questions, please write them down in the chat or in the GoToMeeting question window, and I will answer all the questions at the end of the presentation. Okay, so first, why is there a need for the Type 3 CAA add-on? So as you know, all industrial parts produced today, they have some types of identification on them. But Katia doesn't have built-in function for integration of text and logo. It's not possible to create text directly in Katia. So it's only possible with way run methods that are very time consuming. So that's why many of you are struggling to add your text and your logos on your cat part. And that's the reason why we have developed the Type 3 add-on in partnership with the system, of course. So the Type 3 CAA add-on, it provides Katia users with professional tools directly in Katia, so to create text and to integrate graphic elements in Katia. It's used in the design and construction processes for simulation, validation, and production purposes. So with Type 3 CAA, Katia users, they can very quickly integrate logos, serial numbers, safety regulations, industry certifications, design requirements, anything onto a 3D CAD part. So Type 3 CAA is compatible with both CATIA V5 and 3D experience, and it gives the CATIA users an additional toolbar in CATIA. So you can see the toolbar on the screen, okay? And it gives access to three main functions, vectorization, text creation, and then projection and mapping features. Okay, so regarding uh, the first function, the text creation and the use of symbols, uh, you have a text mode window where you have access to all the tools to create the text, choose the symbols with many parameters. So I will show you that during the demo, so I go very quickly, but basically the text created is parametric. It's associated with all other features of CATIA. And it allows full, precise, and flexible control of okay. text is multi-line. Uh, you have many, many fonts. It's uh, compatible uh, G1. And it's created in CATIA history tree, so very easy to read it. Second feature is the vectorization. So inside uh, Katia, you can very easily uh, vectorize color picture and also black and white pictures. I will show you also during the presentation. And then you can project or map your logos and your text uh, onto your 3D CAD part. And to do this, there are five different strategies depending on the shape of your uh, piece. You can choose between parallel projection, local projection, basic mapping, etc. And every time you have a small wizard to make it easy to uh, to do. And the curves created, the curves projected, they are Katia curves, right? So you can do whatever 
you want uh, with uh, the curves. Here you can see some example of cat parts that have a uh, text or logos or symbols on them. So type three CIA is used by many leading companies worldwide. So for example, there are many, many users in the transportation and mobility industry. Here you can see some of our references like BMW, Ferrari, Forvia, Continental, etc. We also have many users in the aerospace and defense. Many users also in uh, the is industrial equipment. And here we have also, we, you can see many uh, tire manufacturers, but also in other fields like consumer goods, packaging, uh, high-tech, medical, luxury watch industry, etc. And there are many benefits for working with Type 3. So first, it's really the huge time saving in creation and reedition. Uh, type 3 CAA also provides higher efficiency as the user always remain in the CATIA interface. Reduced data volume, so the cat part size, they can be uh, drastically downsized. Okay. Uh, it provides better performance and better visualization of 3D models. So as a result, the return on investment is uh, quite fast. Okay, now we'll switch directly to the demo. Okay, so let's start. So first, um, yeah, so you see um, on the top here, you have the type three toolbar, okay? So here I'm doing the demo on Katia V5, release R34, but it's also compatible with a 3D experience. And the type three add-on is available in seven languages. So English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. Um, the license, they are managed by FlexNet Publisher. So of course, you can share one license with multiple users. And the prerequisite in order to uh, be able to use it is to have access to port design. In mechanical design or generative shape design. Okay, so this is the toolbar here. So first you see there's a little key on the left, so you can click on it to activate the features. And if you share a license with your colleagues, when you finish, you can click on it again and it will uh, release the license for uh, your colleagues. Here there are different icons. So first one, well, it's to copy and paste from another software. This here is to have access to vectorization feature. This is text mode. Projection and mapping, the little uh, question mark is to have access to the online help. And here is the information about your license. So let's start with the vectorization. So from here, you can import directly different format, BMP, PNG, JPEG, TIFF, GIF. And you can import uh, color images or black and white images. So here I'm just going to choose the Gravotech logo. Okay, it's here in the middle. Then I can go to the next uh, icon here and I can play with the different parameters, okay, in order to get the best result and depending on the quality of my uh, image, of course. So I can play with the allowance, so I can follow or not the pixels on the picture. Noise filtering is to follow or not the direction of the pixels. Um, I can smooth the angles or not. And I can also, for example, use the spot filtering function if I decide not to um, vectorize spots under five millimeters. Okay, if it's okay, I go to the next one. 
And here I choose the colors I want to uh, vectorize. So here I want to retrieve the green contours and also the gray ones. Okay, so I validate and here I have my result. So directly in uh, the plane. Okay, and I can zoom on the logo. Gravotech by Brady. Okay, so the vectorization, well, it's uh, very easy to use. It's completely integrated. So let me hide the result and go directly to the text mode. Okay, so it's this one here. So from here, I have my text mode window that opens. Uh, first, I select the plane I want to work with. Okay, so I can select X, Y. I can also select a face, the face, a planar face of a cat part if I want. Uh, first, I'm going to show you how to write text on a curve. So I select my curve and I can type my text directly. Okay, I can preview. Okay, I don't want any version. I can preview directly very quickly. Okay, now I can show you, in fact, from here, so I will select the text, I can have access to all the uh, fonts that are installed on my computer. Okay, so I have all the true type fonts from here, so it means I have a lot, and also I have access to uh, single line fonts, okay, that are very useful, for example, if you are planning to send you file to engraving, then it's going to be much faster to engrave. A one line text. Okay, so here let's stay with this. Here I have of course the possibility to uh, justify or align on the left, etc. Like in Word, I can change from here the height of the text. Okay, I can change uh, the width of the text and I can preview always directly. Uh, if I want to change, to put in italics, I can do it here. For example, I can incl incline 30 degrees. Or even minus 30 degrees. Um, I okay. This is italics, but I can incline also directly all the text. Let's try 45 degrees, or maybe directly 90 degrees if I want the text to follow the curve. Okay, like this. Um, so there are many many parameters. I can change the space between the characters. I can underline. I can also write text from right to left. Okay, very useful for some languages. And here is the same I can write in uh, superscript. Let's try uh, this one is uh, subscript. Small caps. Lowercase. I can write under the line or underline. And I can also define the space between the characters. Okay. Here, if I want to make more space, I just click here. I can also, if I have multi line text, I can choose the space between the lines as well. Um, if you want to uh, write symbols that are not on the keyboard, you can have access to a library of symbols from here. So you can choose some of them. Mm. Let's preview. And you see you have the symbols directly so very easily. And of course, you can import your uh, own symbols.
Okay, I can show you also maybe an example of a one line font. Okay, I will choose the glass font. Mm, and something interesting in also you can inverse do you can do a plain inversion okay and also a curve inversion okay and maybe you put it in the middle so in that case um, it's equivalent to a mirroring so if you are creating molds it's very easy uh, to do it using this function Okay, let's go back to a true type font. Uh, okay, so you can check my text is really created in a Katia historic tree because it's a it's Katia feature. Okay. Um, if I want from here, I can change also the, the parameters. Okay, for example, if I want to change the font, I have access through it through uh, directly uh, through here. Okay, and if I want, I can also modify the curve. Right? If I change the position or maybe change also the the shape, let's do it like this. Uh, I don't have access to the tools because of go to webinar one moment. <laughs> okay. So you see the text is changed accordingly. Okay. Uh, now I will show you how to write multi line text. So I can start a new one. As instead of selecting just one curve, I can select several so here I want to write my text according to these three markers, so I can do it very easily. And then it's a bit too big, so I can change the height. Okay. So if I want to align on the right, for example, I can change it. So you see, it's very easy to, um, to manage the text with the different marker positions. I can show you now how to write the text on arc. Okay, so I just choose here the center for my radius uh, of my arc, maybe a bit bigger. And here automatically, you see I have text on arc, so then I can just align on the left. Uh, I can choose the start angle. So let's start at 90 degrees. You see, I can really place the text wherever I want. Another possibility is to write text in a box. So I click on text in a box. It's the same, I choose the reference point here and I can manage the position of the text so here I can put the reference point really in the middle of the text I can also choose 
let's say the right uh, top corner and I have the text placed accordingly very quickly. And if I want to write multi-line text, it's possible as well. Okay. So I can, yeah. Um, like this. Um, okay, so as I told you, the text created is uh, associative. Uh, and compatible with all the other features of Katia. So for example, uh, I want to show you that it's compatible with formula. So here we have this text here that was created and the height is equal to half of this uh, dimension. Okay, so you see it's here, well, it's here. So if I change this dimension, the text will change uh, accordingly. So I change the Y directly from here, maybe to 25 millimeter. And you see the text is uh, much smaller. Um, I can show you also the compatibility with uh, power copy. Okay, so let's say for example, I want to create a button, uh, a window here on this. So what I can do, I can open a co power copy that is already uh, created. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, let me check because I have the go to webinar window here. Okay, so now I want just to uh, open it from here. Okay. Okay, it's already open. One moment. So yeah, I use the function instantiate from document. So here I have my power copy already prepared, but me, I want to use it on this face um, here. So first I will just select the thickness. Okay, then the X, Y axis system. Here I can see all the parameters that were defined uh, and the text I want to include. So basically, if it's okay, I will just leave it this way and preview. Okay, so the window is very small. It's here. Uh, you can see with the A, B, C, one, two, three dimensions. Um, if I want to change, and maybe do it a bit bigger, I can go back to the parameters and make a bigger window. And this offset of the text, a bit bigger too. And from here I can change the text. Let's say I will write air on. Okay, so now I have my window and you see the text has changed and the text so it's managed by type three, the type three CAA add-on and all the rest is managed by Katia. So you see, uh, it's very easy to create the text uh, with this add-on is totally integrated in the Katia environment, totally parametric and associative. So now you saw how to create text uh, in 2D in flat but you probably want to uh, project it or to put it on your 3D 
cut part. So let's, I will show you the different possibilities. So there are different strategies. First one is the parallel projection. So let's say if you want to, uh, you see you have this text here, you want to project it on this curve. So you click on parallel projection. Uh, then you have a small window appearing. So you just follow the instructions. So first you have to take care of the curves you want to project. So I select the axis system. I select the curves I want to project. I go to the next tab, and here I have to select everything about the surface. So it's the same. I select the axis system, the surface itself, and then I can go directly to preview and to validate. And I can check the result. So here it's well, it's quite okay, it's quite nice, so it was very easy to do. Um, now let's say I want to modify the curve. Okay, I want to do it uh, even maybe a bit sharper like this. Okay, so now you see the result is not as good because there's a lot of text distortion in here. Okay, so in order to avoid this, we have a, another possibility is to use the local projection. So I will do exactly the same. I will copy it, but first I will change the color so that we can really see the difference. in pink okay so i have the two of them so well one is pink one is so i will change this the second one and add one more a guide so the curve will be used as a guide this one here uh... i don't know why i cannot select it Okay, let's preview. Okay, so we can really see the difference. Uh, yeah, it's it's in uh, white. So yeah, it's much nicer than the pink one. Okay, so I will just validate and maybe hide this one. Okay, so now you see, yeah, the result is without any distortion, okay? And what I can do now, I can use a CATIA feature maybe to add some uh, thickness to this. So what I will do, I will go to Generative Shape Design, okay? It's available through here, and I will use the split function, okay? so the element to cut uh, it's the surface here okay the element cutting element so it's my parallel projection Uh, yeah, I want to keep the other side. Okay, keep all the sub elements. Okay, so now we, I will just use the thick surface to add some thickness. Okay, um, like two millimeters maybe. Okay, so 
yeah, I have my this, and this text is really on my surface. Okay, I can show it. Okay, it's like this. Okay, and if I if you want to um, to see the parametric, you know, you can change the 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 text from here. I can add Katia V five. And everything will be recomputed uh, automatically, okay, without starting uh, again. Okay, so that's for the local projection. In fact, I have another example for local projection. It's very fast. It's with a sphere. Um, it's uh, this one here, okay. So it's the same. I want to uh, project. my text on my sphere so i go to the parallel projection here i choose my axis system i select the text And the surface here, so I have two surfaces. I can select the sphere directly. No, for the axis system, the sphere, and as a guide, I will use the two curves here. Okay, so very quickly, I have my text. around my sphere okay like this another possibility is to do a cylindrical mapping well, it's not this example yet uh, so here it's already done you see um, in this example, on this pump, you know, here we have used a local projection, as we just saw. Here is just a text on arc because it's flat. And here I have my sil uh, cylindrical mapping. So basically, it's the same wizard. It's just I need to define the cylinder axis. OK, and then also a reference point to, to really place the text uh, very uh, precisely. So if I just want to change the reference point, I, it's here now. I want to use this one so I can recompute. And you know, my text now is here. OK. So it's very easy to position the, the result of the mapping very easily. I have another example. OK, no. It's conical mapping. So basically, it's the same. So, but I want to, ah, yeah, I want to show you that it's uh, compatible with um, the machining of Katia. So I will open its uh, cat process file. Okay, so here, I'm sorry, there are just five minutes left. It's a bit longer. Um, okay, so you see the text is already on the cone. And now if I want to show you really uh, the toolpath, I can show you from... So I want to see the toolpath. So this is Katia features, and it's not type 3 CAA. Let's see if I can have, oh yeah, I can have the toolpath, you see, directly. OK, so let's go out. I will show you very quickly 
Oups, là, annulé. Um, two additional files. <laughs> Sorry, I have the window of go to webinar in front. Okay, so there are um, just this front panel I can show you. Okay, so here you have an emergency button. Okay, and you know, because it was defined with a um, design table, I can change if I want the language from English to French, arrêt d'urgence. You see, it's in another, in another language just very easily, and I can show you maybe the other side of the panel here. We can zoom in. There's a lot of text, so there are symbols here. Uh, There's the multi-line text, and this is also text on multi-support. Okay. And very quickly, the last one. So this is a tire. So many customers of ours, they are tire manufacturers, and you see they can use the type 3 add-on to add text, to add symbols, etc. on the tire. Okay, you can even have knurling in here. Okay, and if you want to modify, um, so for example, I want to modify the text here. Okay, I can just change it. And you see, because it's parametric, everything is changing. <laughs> okay, so that's it for the presentation. So I hope you liked it. It, uh, it was very fast to show you different examples, but you see you have all the tools directly integrated in Katia right at hand. So you, uh, it's very easy for you to create the text, to add your logos, and then to put them on your 3D CAD parts. So what I suggest now, if you want, uh, you have the possibility to start a one month trial. So you can, I will put my contact information here. So you can just email me or email sas at type3.com and we can activate a one month trial for you. You can also contact me if you want to know who is your reseller in your area or if you want to know uh, the budget to, you need to equip your team. Um, so yeah, thanks a lot for joining this presentation. I wish you a very nice day. And now I will check the questions for people who want to stay. So thanks a lot. Let's keep in touch. Thank you.